What I wanted to say is scratching and mixing is something that we have decided to do together because dad is the cook at home. And you have to listen to your parents and no pushing. Welcome to this installment of Scratching and Mixing. Um, we call it Scratching and Mixing because we love music, we love hanging out, and we love creating. So this is just our, I guess, homage to um, the making of music as we make our food. So what today we're gonna do is we're going to make vegan cornbread. Riley, do you wanna tell them the ingredients? We have to, uh, we have to make the sauce mm -hmm. so we can cook it. So what is this? Milk. Milk and it's walnut milk, right? Yeah, walnut milk and we drink that. We drink that. And, and we, we got, all, and then, and then we got syrup. Syrup, yep, agave nectar. And then applesauce. Yeah, applesauce, unsweetened applesauce. Then we got, what's this? Oil. Oil. This is cornmeal. Yeah, cornmeal. And what's meat. this? What's this? Flour. Flour. Now, you can pick which um, brands that you want to go with. These are the brands that our home eats, goes with. Um, this is for people who are, you know, dairy-free, um, don't eat eggs, can't eat eggs, or you're vegan. Um, this is a very um, tasty meal, so, or I say meal. This is a tasty portion of the meal. We also have some beans cooking. I won't show you that today, but we will get into how to make the vegan cornbread. Let's go. Now we got our ingredients and we are ready. So, like I said, all our ingredients are vegan friendly. Um, I don't eat dairy, I don't eat eggs. Riley has trouble with dairy. She loves dairy, do you like cheese? Uh, yes. She likes cheese, but she can't eat it all the time. Mommy eats cheese, um, so kind of just how we come to the common denominator, we just and go ahead yes, and make some vegan friendly. So we got milk. And syrup, so two thirds cup of milk. And one fourth uh, cup of agave nectar. Fourth cup of applesauce. Three tablespoons of oil. Salt, and salt and salt and baking powder. Yep. Which is bacon. two teaspoons of baking powder. Half and teaspoon then of salt. Some one flour. cup of cornmeal and a third cup of flour. So yep. Riley, start pouring the flour in the cornmeal. So we'll give you all these ingredients again, just so you can read it out. But you want to start with your dry ingredients. So we got the flour and the cornmeal. We got the baking powder and the Himalayan salt. Okay. Now we're gonna, now we're gonna stir it. Get all the dry ingredients stirred well. Why? The why that's really it's dry? The, it's the baking powder. You want to make sure the baking powder is spread well as well as the salt. You don't want something in areas um, not as evenly distributed. So we go ahead and get those dry ingredients taken care of. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do the oil. I I can do it. Go ahead and do the oil. This is like green slime. Yep. We use avocado oil because it has a high heat point. You can use coconut oil if you like. Um, but since we're heating this to 450 degrees, um, and then with the coconut oil, how it doesn't have a heat point past 350 degrees. We just use avocado oil. We not mix it yet. We don't mix it yet. We don't mix it yet, right? We gotta mix in all the other wet ingredients. Applesauce. So we use applesauce as an alternative. Um, go ahead. Applesauce as an alternative to eggs. So basically the substitution is for one egg, which this recipe normally calls for, is a fourth cup of applesauce. So another story behind Riley helping me is I'm always in the kitchen. Um, mommy's working as well so to kind of give her a little time yeah we have to bring her in here her it's you yeah i i i name ashley and my mommy name ashley oh okay we both ashley really yep i thought your name was right yeah okay so now we got agave nectar the original recipe calls for i think maybe two teaspoons of granulated sugar um, I don't put granulated sugar in this. 
I use agave nectar instead, and I like it a little more sweet, so I did a fourth of a cup. So, here you go. Oh, perfect. But yeah, th this helps Riley to I do it. focus a little I bit. Do it. As you can see, she's high energy, and anything that's hands on, she does great at. Um, now we got our milk. Yep. I literally just broke this, so don't judge me. I was trying to dry it off. There's a story behind that. But, okay, Riley, go ahead and pour it. Oh. All right, sister girl. Now let me mix it. Okay, let me remember, sit. I'm going to get the corners first. Yep. So how you start, you want to start on the outside. Yeah, you, you, you to turn on this too. Get out. Uh, yeah, go ahead, tell them. Go ahead, tell you have to turn on this too. You can turn on your own if you want to. I help you, my daddy. Okay, so. I can use Sweetie up to help too because I help you, my daddy. Because we both help me. Daddy wants some help. Yep, great bonding. And we can't. And we can't be me. No way to let her talk over me without me getting frustrated because I'm focused on something too. So, here, your turn. Stir a little bit up. It's really fun to twirl with you. Yeah. I love it. As you can see, our aprons, um, we have a I love of Daddy. You're doing great. 57 Flavors Oopsies. Catering. You cater, please. 57 Flavors.com. Check out our menu, our pricing. Daddy. You good? Go ahead. Just keep starting. You all right? Just we'll watch it on our plate. And then Pie Out Cookies um, is our cookie Give brand. Pie friend. Inspired Cookie Brand. Um, home of the Peach Cobbler Cookie, Pecan Pie Cookie. Um, we do weekend events. We do weekly yeah. events. We do nationwide shipping. So check us out. Whoa, Daddy, look at this. Now, now that we have it nice and, if you can see, nice and we consistent. We already got one. Nice and consistent, and it's dripping, right? Yeah. So, we got that Daddy, done. See, it's really dripping. Now, what do you pour it in? You pour, I use about a tablespoon of oil, and I put it in a pan. But we use a cast iron skillet. My mother used a cast iron skillet, as well as my grandmother. She used you a cast iron skillet. You already said that. Right. So, Talk, copy you boys. Say so, I'm gonna listen. So the story behind that is we already did this video, but my head was cut off. So we had to make another video. And as you can see, sometimes things happen. Good thing about the kitchen is things happen and they can learn. Now, what were you doing that messed you up right there? I was, I was doing right. that like this. So what do you need to do? What does daddy do? Watch me, pay attention. You gotta hold the bowl. This is how you hold it and keep it in place. You wanna do this, you're gonna be all over the place. Hold the bowl and you stir it. You gotta hold it, just like when you're drawn. Now it's all over your arm. Now we'll clean that up in a second. We gotta tell the people. Now this is, this is the consistency that you want. A Little bit of drips, but nice and smooth. Um, then you take your cast iron skillet, you pour about a tablespoon of oil in the cast iron skillet, go ahead <laughs> And then you want to pour your batter. Um, yeah. We set our oven to 450 degrees. Uh, you put it in there for about 20 minutes. It'll come out, we'll let you know how it goes. All right, guys, we're back. Um, our cornbread is ready. One thing that I was discussing with Riley a second ago, I guess this is a life tip as well as a cooking tip. You have to listen, you have to slow down, and you have to pay attention to what you're doing. So you want to go ahead and listen, whether it's your instructions that you're reading or that you're listening to. You want to make sure that you're hearing everything that the instructions are saying. You want to slow down. You want to take your time. Make sure you have everything in there that you need. Make sure it looks how it needs to look. And you want to pay attention. Um, a recipe may say, you know, cook for 25 minutes. Well, your oven may be a little hot. Or it may say cook for 25 minutes and your oven may not be as hot. You don't want to take it out and it's not ready. So you need to pay attention to what to look for. So now we have our finished product of our cornbread. Great job, Riley. So Thank that, you. Good job. So it has a dark outside and it's golden brown inside. Did you want to say anything? Uh-huh. Okay. You you have to um, not touch the Nutella because it's gonna burn your hand just like I did when just one finger and then I put my hand right here. And that was not a possible to touch it. I just wanted to see if the towel is, is really told for me so right. it's a charge. Right. So now remember, this is the, the vegan cornbread. So number one thing that you want to do when I was talking about paying attention, um, one way that you can check to see if it's done, it may look perfect on the outside, is the cornbread test or the cake test, the bounce test. If you press it, 
and it doesn't make an impression, it bounces back, it's ready, it's good. Usually you wanna do it in the middle, and it's good to go. Now, if you have gas, you might not want to do it with your fingers. Can I feel it's another that? test. Sure, go ahead. You, 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 you have to touch it, and you, when, when you look this way, when you put this in the oven backwards, you burn your finger. <laughs> yeah, you can't Just put like it. This. You can't put it in there backwards. You're gonna burn your finger. You know. And you can't then, as good. you look this way, you don't burn your hand. Just like this. Right. So now, with this, the, the other test you can do is a toothpick test. You take a toothpick, stick it in the middle. If it comes out clean, it's ready. If it comes out a little wet, there's a little more time to go. All right, now we're gonna cut it. What we gonna cut it with, sister girl? A knot, a, a big knot. A big knot. Don't cut me with that. I'll try not to. All right, so we're gonna dig in. One. Say that's the best cut, but it's cool. Get those edges. Um, Daddy, that's really hard. Right? Yeah, you can't touch it if it's really hard. Daddy, you're gonna burn your finger. And boom. Vegan cornbread. Just like Grandma made it, right? Nice, not burnt on the bottom. Nice and cool, like I said, the edges. Make sure it's dark brown but not black. Make sure it's golden brown on the top, not white, not dark. Um, the agave nectar will make it dark, uh, a little darker, but as you can see, this is a great visual for how it should be. We got some beans back here. We're gonna make it, show you the finished can product. Yes, ma'am. You uh, you can't cut yourself with this because it's a, a knife for dad, because he walks with that. That's in his teeth, mm -hmm. and the poos is not mine. So I got one over there. So yep. you, that's you it. So brother you, knives. And what else do you do? And if you use bigger <laughs> knives, uh -huh. then you got to touch yourself. Yeah, you got to like, be really careful. Like this. Tut, tut, tut. Mm. And then you got to touch it. Mm. And that's what you got to do as you do it. But we're done. We're gonna show you Daddy, our finish. Daddy, you want to have an after-tucky place, remember? Yes, I did. I did. That's Why? She here? wants to tell a story about me burning my hand. I, I grabbed the pan when it was in the oven. Yep, and it burned right here. Yeah. So there we go. So we're gonna make the plate of food. We're gonna take a picture. We're gonna show the people. I should thank you. And then we're gonna enjoy. You wanna tell everybody bye? Bye. Thank you I for watching. You. We're gonna miss you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Catch you next time. Scratch and mix. Mwah.